before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. Give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, y'all stand up. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Kansas. My father was born in Kenya, and I was born, of course, in Hawaii. I receive this honor with deep gratitude and great humility. In part, this is because I am at the beginning and not the end of my labors on the world stage. More news before that tonight, Norwegian authorities were investigating strange lights seen in the Arctic sky. The spiraling white light was seen for several minutes Wednesday morning. Locals say the light appeared to be bigger than the moon. Thousands of Norwegians bombarded the Meteorological Institute to ask what that light could have possibly been. Some feared it could have been a meteor, others a black hole, and there are even those that thought it could be aliens.
two words for you. Predator drones. You will never see it coming. practically limitless a personality that in our sessions came to call itself the phoenix the mortal jean gray is no more i am fire made flesh power incarnate i am the dark phoenix all the stars coming down tonight
I have always believed that hope is that stubborn thing inside us that insists, despite all the evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us. That something better awaits us. So long as we have the courage to keep reaching, to keep working, to keep fighting. And, uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, let's try it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Now, you are... The idea that if you're willing to work hard, it doesn't matter who you are, or where you come from, or what you look like, or where you love. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white, or Hispanic, or Asian, or Native American, or young, or old, or rich, or poor, able, disabled, gay, or straight. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. I believe we can seize this future together. Because we are not as divided as our politics suggest, and we remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. Mother Monster. And thus began the beginning of the new race, a race within the race of humanity. That is reportedly Lady Gaga inside that interesting shell like sculpture. And what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race, uh, a race within the race of humanity.
give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Spring. Really? Mm-hmm. But he's a hero, a war hero. This is peacetime. You think this can last? There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. chosen Draco Malfoy for a mission. Evil will pass through from their world into our own. These are mad times we live in, mad! And the darkest hour is beyond anything I imagined is upon us all. In my life, I've seen things that are truly horrific. This is why you're here. What are you doing? I'm listening. Hippo, they're just running here. Come. They're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. Stay until dawn. In 2009, a deadly virus burned through our civilization, pushing humankind to the edge of extinction. Dr. Robert Neville dedicated his life to the discovery of a cure and the restoration of humanity. On September 9, 2012, at approximately 8.49 p.m., he discovered that cure. And at 8.52, he gave his life to defend it. We are his legacy. This is his legend. What about you, buddy? You're from another planet, aren't you? No, man, I'm from Miami. You didn't come in on like a meteor? Or... Nope, woke up in a hospital, first thing I remember. Government hospital? Yes? Experimenting on you? And... No, a regular old Miami emergency room. Come on. Yeah, my, uh, my skull was fractured. They told me I tried to uh, stop a mugging. Somebody knocked you out. I guess I was a regular guy before. And when I woke up, I was changed. And the hospital nurse tried to put a needle in my arm, and it just broke against my skin. And then my skull healed in like an hour. And doctors were astounded. And, uh, they wanted to know my story, just like you, but I couldn't tell them. I don't know who I am. You don't remember anything. Uh, 
Only thing I had in my pocket was bubble gum, two movie tickets. Boris Karloff, uh, Frankenstein. Karloff, uh, Frankenstein. We are in uncharted territory here. I've never seen anything like this. I'm at a loss for words to describe what this storm could do. Hurricane Sandy is threatening to crash into the east coast of the U.S. after transforming into a huge and rare super weather system that some forecasters are calling Frankenstorm. Carl uh, Frankenstein. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! To a superstorm of freakish dimensions. People are wondering why this is happening. Oh, I missed it! Oh, what the fuck? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. It's a hurricane. What the hell is this? Water on it and the winds that are whipping scary. the flames. It's uh, really, you know, wow. the worst case scenario all over. There's water everywhere and uh, embers flying. It's like the apocalypse has hit. I mean, like there's that fire, we've evacuated. This is real. Super Bowl is kind of like the holy of holies in America, right? <laughs> so like here I am, I'm going to come into the, like, the ha halfway between like the, the, the church, the church experience, and uh -huh. I'm going to have to deliver a sermon.
church experience, and uh -huh. I'm going to have to deliver a sermon. This is my world! My world! You must be able to see it, Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. This is the construct. It's our loading program. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? We are in dialogue with your leaders to help the human race survive its infancy. For we believe in you. At the end of the world, Lynx 2012, the final edition. Get on the ark! Everyone on the ark now! I think we should get on the ark. I agree. I think we should get on the ark also. I'm cold, I'm wet, I'm going home.
madness to do the things that built the Golden Gate Bridge and Hoover Dam and unleashed all the potential in this country. That looks like me. Look at those ears. <laughs> Lead up to election day here in the United States, we're expecting the UN's nuclear watchdog agency to lay out a stark reality. Here's how the New York Times put it, quote, despite increasingly painful sanctions and a covert program called Olympic Games that aimed to slow the Iranian program cyber attacks. Those made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Yes, we can. Hey, you say. Give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Y'all stand up right there. You got
Let me just say something to all my conspiracy-oriented friends on the right who think I'm planning to unleash some secret agenda. You're absolutely right. will finally be able, with its wonderful science and technology and art and culture and music and innovation and creativity, to live in peace, to live in peace and security. people of Israel and the Palestinians are living side by side uh, in peace and security. Living side by side in peace and security. To fashion a peace that will ensure Israel's security. In which both the Israeli people and the Palestinian people can live in peace and security. Two states for two peoples living side by side in peace and security. They can live side by side in peace and security. Yes. Peace and security. That's how we will find new pathways to peace and security. Peace and security. Peace and the security. Peace and security. Peace and, and security. Peace and security. Peace and security. Two states living side by side in peace and security. The greater peace and security for the entire region. So today, I state clearly and with conviction, America's commitment to seek the peace and security of a world without nuclear weapons.